Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Asteroid, asteroid. And I'm not talking about the one that everybody's talking about, supposedly, that somebody thinks is coming in February. I'm talking about the one that just, just missed you. Doc, it gone. And no, we, didn't, we, we got no, nobody gave us any warning. I guess NASA didn't see it, but at the last second they saw it. And there it was. It was eight meters, so it wasn't very big, only eight meters, small rock. But this thing come within 0.1 LD lunar distance. Not 1.0, which is close enough. That's the distance from here to the moon. But 0.1, that means it came within 25,000 miles of the surface of the earth. This thing, and we, we got no warning. The name of it, NASA gave it a name in the, in the, within the first within the two hours before it got here. And it was called 2017 BH30. Gone! We didn't know it. And today we got one going by, pretty close. One LD, which means about 250,000 miles from the Earth. Or in other words, it's the distance from the moon to the Earth. It's going to go by today. Uh, it's called 2017 BJ30. But the one that went by yesterday, we had no heads up. Just barely, I mean barely, Dan this is dangerously close when you get down to 0 0.1, okay? You're within 25,000 miles of, um, of the surface of the earth. This would have been a very powerful explosion had it hit the earth. While that's going on, guys, we got solar winds right now at 736,000 kilometers per second outrageous speeds of solar winds with gaping uh, hole in the sun atmosphere. Gaping hole with outrageously fast solar winds at 736,000 kilometers per second. More than twice the, the normal speed. It means it's releasing unbelievable uh, solar, uh, solar flare activity a solar stream, I should say. Uh, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. And of course, the hole in the atmosphere. And of course, we just barely got, we just barely escaped this meteor, okay? Or this asteroid, near Earth object, near Earth object asteroid, just barely got by us. So we got to keep our eyes open here, guys. Uh, and oh, there's incredible auroras out there too. You better keep your head up, okay? Keep looking around because uh, it's insane. There was 29 fireballs also that penetrated the Earth's atmosphere last night. And there was one that was seen over, I believe, uh, Kansas City or somewhere over there in uh, Missouri um, that was a real, really lit up the sky. But... Good news is the asteroid didn't hit us. Bad news is we got solar stream coming at us right now. A ton of pressure, a ton of pressure coming at us right now with solar winds at 736,000 kilometers per second. If there's any fault lines, if there's any tectonic plates about ready to go, they will go. The pressure from this will trigger them. So we better hope and pray there's none ready. I'm telling you, you better hope and pray there's none ready. I'll be back with more current world events. Matter of fact, I'm just going to look right now at the earthquake chart just because something could have happened since the last time I looked at it. And I'm going to do that right now if it's okay with you guys, just to be sure we're all right, just to be sure nothing mega has broke. Uh, I, I, I just anticipate it. Uh, we've had 33 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Here's what's happened in just the last few, not long, 4.8 Southwest Indian Ridge, 4.6 Japan, very shallow, 4.5 um, Argentina, 5.0 Ecuador, 5.3 East Timor. Now, these, these five earthquakes have all happened uh, within the last two hours. There's more that's happened, 33 total, but uh, you can see some pressure. We did have a 5.9. Uh, early this morning in Vanuatu, okay? But uh, in the last couple hours, we've had um, five quakes in five different locations, all hovering around 5.0, little less, little more, okay? So 
keep, keep, you know, keep your eyes open and keep looking up. Your redemption's drawing nigh. Jesus is coming soon. Are you saved? Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. It's going to be a good one. Wow. We've got a ton of stuff to cover. And our guest, Pastor Casper McLeod, the guy that played John Lennon in the Broadway musical Beatlemania. He was John Lennon. Okay. Wow. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Is there really an asteroid by the name of 2016 WF9? And is it really coming very close to the Earth or even in, on a collision course of the Earth, maybe, February 25th? Well, what's really wild here, folks, is that there are scientists uh, that are saying that this asteroid exists. What's uh, strange, though, is that NASA had originally identified it and has now removed it from its list. Uh, if, uh, listen to this. If there is an asteroid, 2016 WF9, perhaps it explains why NASA is covering it up. That a comet or an asteroid, they've named it 2016 WF9, is destined to hit the Earth next month, February 25th or potentially could hit the earth. That's a big difference, guys. Anyway, and wipe out millions of people, according to one self-styled astronomer, Dr. Doyman Damir Zahorovich has warned the impact could wipe out a city if it strikes land or cause a devastating tsunami if it lands in the sea. Now today my guest is Gil Brizard. We have four questions for him. One of them is, is there an asteroid 2016 WF9? And if so, how close to the Earth is it going to go by? And why was it originally listed by NASA and has since been removed off their charts? Now that is a question for Gil Brizard. Number two, where is Planet 7X? Planet X, where is Planet X? Give us an update on that. Also, he has an announcement, a major announcement for March 15th and 16th of this year. March 15th and 16th of this year. I don't know what it is. He said, I'll make the announcement today on the broadcast. And then, what about Revelation chapter 12? That wonder in heaven. Is it going to take place in September of this year? Uh, we're going to get all of those questions on the table with Gil Brazard. But let's go back to this asteroid, because NASA revealed earlier this month that a comet or asteroid, which they call 2016 WF9, would pass very close to the Earth on February 25th, but has been quietly, eerily, very softly removed from the scene. They originally estimated it was somewhere between uh, about a half a mile wide, somewhere between 0.3 to 0.6 of a mile. Okay, so somewhere close to half a mile wide. That is huge. Now, NASA has said it is likely that WF9 comes from the outer solar system, but Dr. Zaharovich is more specific about its origins. He believes the asteroid comes from a uh, giant hidden planet known as Nibiru or Planet X. And uh, he, he really does believe that this is why they're no longer talking about it. It is not going to hit the Earth. If it did, it would be a, a cataclysmic. But the object they call WF9 left the Nibiru system, he says, in October of 2016 and has been spinning counterclockwise around the sun. Uh, since then, NASA has known it will hit the Earth, he says, but they're only telling people now. Okay, folks, <clears throat> we, I, look, I, I don't want to go any further with this report. I really don't. Uh, I, I'm just going to ask Gil Brazard his opinion of it. I'm looking right now at the asteroid chart. Yesterday, we had an asteroid go, I mean, two days ago. On January 30th, we had an asteroid go whizzing by. The asteroid was called 2017 BH30. It was small. It was only 8 meters, but it came less than 25,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, or 0.1 lunar distance. What? Now, that was close, and 
and NASA did not tell us about it. They say they didn't know about it till it was within two hours of going by the Earth. Now, yesterday, five asteroids went by. 2017 BN30, 2017 BJ30, 2017 BY5, and 2017 BT6, and 2017 BB7. Now, those five asteroids all went by the Earth and are listed in the near-Earth object chart. And uh, tomorrow, there's three more going to go by. 2017 uh, BB6, 2017 BQ32, and 2017 BS32. And the list goes on. But nowhere on the list is this mysterious asteroid 2016 WF9. It was originally on the list, but it's been removed by NASA. Why? Well, we're going to keep a close eye on these things uh, and ask Gil Brizard for his professional input, as well as the other subjects that we just mentioned. Are you serious? Now, here's what I do know. I know what the Bible says. That The, the Bible says that the, there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts would fail them for fear, for looking after those things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay? So I know that. I also know that the, that the stars are going to fall from heaven like a fig tree cast as its untimely figs, as it's shaken of a mighty wind. I know that the heavens are going to roll back like a scroll. Uh, these are all, I know that we're going to have at least two deep impacts that bring about the wormwood effect the bitter, the poisonous water, and a third of the people of the earth shall die. These are things I can find in the Bible that I specifically know are going to take place. If planet X or planet 7X or Nibiru or planet number 9, like NASA now calls it, if it is part of what brings it about, if God's using it for this, then we're going to find this out. And if there is such a thing as an asteroid that's a half a mile wide that's going to miss us but going by the earth, close why did nasa post it on their charts and then why did they remove it what is that about and i've seen nasa change the size of asteroids i've seen them change the distance of asteroids as they recalculate but why put one on the chart and then take it off what is this about well we're going to ask gil Brazard. don't miss today's live broadcast jesus is coming soon that i know also and you don't want to be left behind give your life to jesus christ He's coming soon. Gil Brazard, my guest today, and Steve Quayle tomorrow. What? And Mike from around the world Friday. We got to get some answers.